Introducing Dendroctinus ponderosae, a tiny bug smaller than a rice grain, more commonly known as the mountain pine beetle. It has lived in North America for millennia. Normally, the bugs infest the forest, kill some trees, thrive for a few years, and move on. But now, the species is facing a dilemma. For the last 15 years or so, these bugs have been living it up. Forests have been full of old trees, weakened by drought. Winters haven't been very cold. In these conditions, the mountain pine beetle has reproduced to epic numbers. Gazillions of beetles are changing the forests. In the western U.S. and Canada, they've killed most mature pine trees across nearly 100,000 square miles, an area about the size of Wyoming. Now, in parts of Colorado and Wyoming, they're running out of suitable trees. A beetle chooses its tree by flying around sniffing for pheromones, a kind of beetle perfume that signals either, go away, this tree is full, or, hey, over here. Once it selects a pine, the beetle drills through the bark. The tree fights back with sticky resin, but some beetles make it through. Inside the bark, the beetle carves a gallery and clicks to let other beetles know where it is. Bark beetles carry spores of a blue stained fungus that brush off and grow through the tree, blocking the flow of water from the roots to the branches. As the tree dries out, the needles fade from green to red. Ultimately, the fungus kills the tree and stains the wood grayish blue. Meanwhile, the beetles mate and lay eggs in the gallery. In September, when the eggs hatch, each larva tunnels sideways from the main gallery, eating the fungus and sugars in the wood. They survive temperatures as cold as 30 degrees below zero for up to five days by making glycerol, a kind of antifreeze. The larvae grow until July when they change into pupa. Soon after, they transform into light brown adults and emerge as many as 5,000 from a single tree. Outside, they slowly darken into shiny black mountain pine beetles. Huge swarms scour the forest for new trees. Some even ride the wind for miles. But none of that matters if the beetles no longer have access to their favorite food source. Mountain pine beetles need old, weak trees. Lodgepole, ponderosa, limber, pretty much any pine will do. Different bark beetle species attack spruce, fir, and other kinds of trees. As the pickings get slimmer, the bugs settle for smaller or healthier trees, not their preference. Disturbances like wildfire and logging create a more resilient forest and can make life hard on the mountain pine beetle. As they move on, they leave us with a transformed landscape how will that change our water supplies and wildlife? What can we do with all that beetle-killed wood? Will our campgrounds ever be the same? Let's find out.